This is the second video that I will be posting today about the, well, third actually, about the lack of critical thinking skills in our race. Um, and TikTok just muted one of my videos because apparently a black person, me, speaking on internalized racism issues in our community is a violation of community standards. So I'm going to try to be very careful with what I say. Um, because I know some jackass went and reported the damn video because there's nothing that black people hate more than accountability. Black women and black men. It's, there's an allergic reaction, a knee jerk, an allergic reaction to being held accountable for the stupid crap that we do. So these skits that have been created to try to quote unquote humble black women or make us look bad. Um, we need to really, we need to stop falling for the bull. We really do. I want us to stop getting so invested and involved and being so willing to offer up our energy for other people to profit off of. Do you know that the lack of critical thinking skills in our racial cohort is a billion dollar industry for other people to make money off of? This whole Cheesecake Factory debate that has started a whole war, I mean, just incensed a war between black men and black women, it was based on a skit. And because we have a lot of really... Um, intellectually challenged people commenting and making videos on these topics who just love clout and clicks and views. They're not thinking about the global impact on the image and value of the black woman and how the low value and the poor image of the black woman contributes to global anti-blackness and contributes to racism issues that we face from other non-black folk. No one's thinking about that. The black men who get up on their podcasts and bash black women and talk down about black women and call us all baby mothers, then turn around and attack child-free women and say something's wrong with us. So y'all hate single mothers. And then you hate child-free women as well. We're too quote-unquote independent and masculine. What do you really want? What do you want? Anyway, I digress. These men who do this don't realize that they're actually making themselves look bad and weak when they attack their source and their creator. Your creator is not a white man, an Arab man, or a Jew. Your creator is that black P-U-S-S-Y. You came forth from my P-U-S-S-Y. Fuck your rib. The rib witch myth needs to die. You came from me, myself, and I. I am your creator. I am your God. So when you disrespect your source, when you debase and defile your creator, you're defiling yourself. This is why you will never see, no matter how tired of their women they get, you will never see white men get up on social media en masse. You'll see a couple of outliers, you know, the incels. But you're not going to see white men en masse get up and bash white women because if they bash their source, they're bashing themselves. And they're at least smart enough to know that despite the fact of them being patriarchs and despite the fact of their misogyny um, and the way that they, the negative feelings they may have toward women, they're at least smart enough to know if I attack my creator, if I attack the source by which I come into this world, I'm attacking myself. That is something, that is a, a level of intellect, foresight and insight that is lacking in our racial cohort, in the men and in the women. I want us to be smarter. Let's work smarter and not harder. These skits and all this foolishness for clout to make money off of black rage, we need to start checking that and stop running. I mean, it's like black people are chomping at the bit to go forth and help these people make money and get clout and get fame and get perks and accolades off of debasing us. At what point do we get sick of that and choose a different path. It really is time for us to opt out of a lot of things. Opt out of not being a, a critical thinker. Opt out of giving your energy so freely and so eagerly to people who seek to use your righteous indignation for their come up. Opt out of all of it. Because damn, look at this. Look at this foolishness. She's an actress. Black women are signing up to help make us all look like jackasses. We need to call these broads out. We need to call these traitors out. We need to call these beasts what they are. They are beasts of burden. They are 
the bane of our collective black feminine existence and it needs to be called out. And we need to opt out of feeding into this bull.